Hi folks, I want to show you a new cool feature of the UC4H display, namely that it is now configurable. And if you look at the world now, you can see that there is now a button which is connected to the B1 pad on the general purpose node and it allows you to, uh, to step through different pages. So the display supports now up to four pages. Per default, there are only two pages. And the first page is exactly the same page as uh, it was in the old uh, display, so to say. And on the second page, it lists all the latest uh, status text messages. Now, the really cool new feature is that these pages can be configured. And this is done by uploading a simple text file. And the structure of a text file looks like this. So the first line must be this line here in order to avoid that one is uploading uh, nonsense. And then there is uh, a list of entries where each entry has a simple format. Namely, the first entry is which data uh, item should be displayed, when on which screen this item should go so you can enter 0 to 3 for the four maximal possible pages. Then the next entry is the X unit which can be 0 or 1. So and if it's 0 then the X value is just taken as a raw screen coordinate and if it's 1 it is multiplied by 6 uh, which is exactly the width of one character here and which basically means that it's a cursor position. And a similar uh, thing holds for the y. So you give a y unit 0 or 1 and then the y value. And then there might be also options. So and the default uh, configuration is like this. That on the first screen you have 8 items. Uh, which are exactly these 8 items here. The, the, the flight mode uh, the, and so on and so forth. And the banner is just not seen because new messages didn't arrive. And on the second page we have what I call the status text field, which you just have seen. Now what we're going to do, we are going to modify that. And here I prepared a simple uh, modification to this. So on the first two screens, we will have exactly the same pieces of information, but we will add two further pages. So on page number three, um, we will show just the GPS fix and GPS sub values with a larger font. And on the fourth page, we will show the flight mode also using a larger font. Now, in order to upload the file to the node, UAVCAN provides a mechanism to upload files to UAVCAN nodes. However, unfortunately, it is not implemented in PyUAVCAN and therefore is also not available in the UAVCAN GUI tool. So I had to find a workaround and the workaround is as follows. So that when you uh, look into this uh, screen here, that I misuse this update firmware mechanism to also allow uploading this display configuration file. And the mechanism is as follows. So when you look in the parameters, you will find that there is one par new parameter upload item file. And if it is set to zero, then this update firmware button will work exactly as before. That is, you specify file and then it will be uploaded to flash and you will have a new uh, firmware. There is a slight protection mechanism now in order to avoid uh, crazy things to happen or to be done is that it only allows files with, with an extension .bin to be uploaded. Now however if you uh, set this value to 1 then this upload firmware will uh, now assume that this is a display configuration file. So that when we do this here, then we see our files here and per default you just see the binary files. And here too there is a protection mechanism. So if it's a binary file, not a proper file, uh, then uh, you can upload it and just uh, nothing will happen. So it will refuse to do something. So. Uh, we don't want to upload a binary. We want to upload our display configuration file. So you have to go. You have to go to this field here and change it from binary to all files to see them. And here we have our new display configuration file, which we click now. And now the upload just takes a few seconds. Okay. And now we can go back to our display. 
and uh, toggle through and then you will see that we indeed have these four pages. Now there are no messages in the status text field. This is because uh, the old ones are gone so we can create easily new ones by connecting uh, to Mission Planner and you see that this brings back uh, the me some messages, the latest messages, so it's now for working. Okay, so this is the new cool feature. If you uh, want to uh, go back to the default, then you just do an erase all and then you return back, of course, uh, to the de default behavior. So you can't uh, really do anything wrong. Okay, see you. Goodbye.